When you go for your visa interview, 99% of the time, this is the first question that is going to be asked to you. What is the purpose of your visit to the United States of America? And the way you answer this question pretty much sets the tone for the rest of the interview. So in today's video, we are going to deep dive into this question and talk about what to say, what not to say and more. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. In this channel, you will find a lot of videos on the US visa process, right from filling DS-160 to clearing the interview. I'm going to leave the link for that above as well as in the description box below. Make sure that you check it out. Today's video, we are going to talk about purpose of visit. I strongly believe that a lot of times the reason for rejection in case of US visa interviews is not communicating your purpose of visit properly to the visa officer. So in today's video, we are going to deep dive into this question and discuss all the aspects related to it. So let's start by discussing what are the requirements of a good purpose of visit. So to start with, a purpose of visit needs to be clear. It has to be something which is understood easily by the visa officer. Next, the purpose of visit needs to be important, it needs to be genuine and also it should not be something which can be done over an email, over a video call, postponed to a later date or substituted by somebody else. So next, let's talk about how long should my purpose of visit be. Now, a lot of times I have seen that professionals prepare really lengthy answers for purpose of visit, which also involves a lot of technical details. But keep in mind that the visa interviews are short, just about three to five minutes. So you really don't have a lot of time to explain your purpose of visit. Moreover, if you start giving very lengthy answers, there's always the chance that the visa officer will cut you off midway and then you will not be able to communicate whatever you are trying to say. So keep your purpose of visit short and concise and keep it to a maximum of four to five sentences. So next, let's talk about what to say. Now, this is the million dollar question. What exactly to say in your purpose of visit? And I have three golden rules, which I advise all my clients to follow. And I'm going to explain this to you with an example. So the first rule is always start with a one line introduction about yourself. And this will include your educational background, your total years of work X, uh, your current designation and your role. So for example, it could be something like this. I'm a computer science engineer with a total of five years of work X in project management. Currently, I'm the team lead for a US-based telecom company. The second golden rule is next, go straight to your role in the US office. So here you tell the visa officer why exactly you will be required in the US office. For example, it could be something like this. Since I'm the team lead, the client wants to meet me before we start the project to discuss the project goals, timelines and the resource requirements. The third golden rule is you finish off by explaining why this face to face meeting with a client or a training or a conference is going to be important. So for example, it could be something like this. This is a significant and a sizable value project for my company, which involves a lot of multiple stakeholders and confidential data. Combining these three golden rules, a one line introduction about yourself, your role in the US office and why being there physically is important, we have a complete answer. And this is something like this. I'm a computer science engineer with a total of five years of work X in the field of project management. Currently, I'm the team lead for a US based telecom company. Since I'm the team lead, the client wants to meet me before we start the project in order to discuss the project requirements, the goals, timelines and the resources. This is a significant and a sizable value project to my company, which involves multiple stakeholders and confidential data. There you have it, simple, easy and effective. Now do keep in mind that I have discussed just one particular scenario and your answer will vary depending upon your work profile and what exactly you need to do in the US office. I have worked with a lot of professionals and I help them to prepare for the interview and prepare for important questions such as the purpose of a visit. So if you are in a similar situation and you want to work with me, you can book a one to one consultation session with me. The link for this is in the description box below. Now, when it comes to purpose of visit, I believe it is equally important to know what not to say. And I actually have a list of three things that you need to avoid. The first one is technical jargons. So when it comes to your purpose of visit, avoid using technical terms because these will just make your answers more lengthy and complicated. And there is a chance that it is not understood by the visa officer. The second thing is 
not giving enough details a lot of times people just give a one word or a one line answer to purpose of visit for example saying to attend a business meeting but if you do not add the relevant details how will the visa officer understand the importance of it so make sure that you add all the relevant details to your purpose of visit and the third one is sounding nervous and not making eye contact when it comes to visa interviews i cannot emphasize enough how important it is to sound confident to speak clearly and to make eye contact with the visa officer these are the things which will give him confidence about your profile and this comes with practice so make sure that you practice your answers if required write them down and speak it out in front of a mirror you can also practice it with a friend and if you want you can also take a practice or a mock interview session with me this will be done on a video call and this will be very similar to the actual visa officer interview you will find all the details regarding this in the description box below so guys these are my two cents on how to prepare for the most important question in your b1 visa interview i really hope that this video has helped you if you have more questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below you can also reach out to me via instagram my instagram handle is at shachi.mal it's right below for a more personalized preparation don't hesitate to get in touch with me you can book a consultation session and me and my team will help you to prepare and clear this visa interview Thank you so much for watching. Please do share and like this video. Also hit the bell icon and stay subscribed because I have a lot more videos coming up on the B1 visa process and they're going to be super helpful. That's all for today. Signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.